All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Keyword Dominator Boosted Training. This video is gonna be all about building out our target keyword lists. In the previous video, we imported our first round of data from multiple keyword sources. We used Helium 10 as our kind of main competitor keyword source. And we've got all our ad reports, everything's all imported. The next step is we're gonna actually just go back up here to the menu and you can operate this just from the settings tab, that's fine, or you know you can go to the, the source tab as well if you want, but we're gonna go up here and since we're using Helium 10, we're gonna do step A, which is add Cerebro keywords. And you can see here you get a prompt, this operation will automatically push any keywords from your Cerebro source table that has a score greater than or equal to three. So I'm actually gonna hit no right now and just kind of bounce over there real quick and explain a little bit more about what's going on. So if I open up the Helium 10 Cerebro sheet here, this is where the data after we run that ad script is gonna get kind of moved to and then it's gonna get automatically pushed after that to the target list on the listing wizard tab. So it, it doesn't really stop midway. Uh, but what it, it does do is it does look at these thresholds that we have set, specifically these top two with this stage. And you can see if you hover over, uh, this is the minimum acceptable score, which is defined by the number of ASINs ranking organically under the score threshold, which in this case is 30. So what it's gonna do in the score column is essentially count of the, of the 10 ASINs that are gonna get populated, which you'll see here in a second, and all their organic ranking underneath, how many of those uh, 10 rank in position 30 or better. And if it's three or more, uh, those keywords are gonna get automatically pushed to our target list. So this whole step that I'm explaining is gonna, get, is gonna happen all automatically with just that single click of a button. So uh, I think it is important to kind of just understand what's going on, but you don't need to really worry about doing any manual filters or, or things like that. This little formula is really good at just identifying based on highly relevant competitors, what they're currently organically ranking well for, thereby likely getting most of their sales for. So um, that's kind of what we're basing our, uh, our strategy off of in what we're gonna be one of ranking for and indexing for. So uh, what you can do at this phase, if you want to change this score minimum, it does need to be at least two or greater. Uh, you can modify this. I think this is a pretty good default uh, range though to kind of get started. Um, so I'm just gonna come back up here now and go ahead and execute that. It adds Cerebro keywords and I'm gonna click yes when the prompt comes up and you'll actually see the ASINs and everything kind of populate and then it's gonna in the background move the keywords that meet our criteria over to our target list automatically for us. All right, so when you get that prompt, again, just go ahead and hit OK, and then just kind of let everything finish. There's still some things loading in the background that you need to give it a few seconds to kind of catch up. All right, and then once you get the finished script, you'll notice that kind of everything loads here in series. You do have to give it a few seconds to fully populate, but you'll start to see it kind of take shape and pretty powerful stuff here. There's a lot to go over. Not gonna cover the listing wizard in great detail in this video. I'm trying to split these videos up so they're a little more digestible, but um, you get the idea. We basically got our first set of keyword data from the keyword sources that we imported into the tool now. And now it's just a matter of adding some additional phases of keyword lists. So now we can go back to our source tab and we'll go ahead and uh, actually, before we minimize this, we'll go ahead and move over the alpha ASINs. One strategy I like to do is just go ahead and pick all of them and then move those alpha, or move those as kind of the alpha ASIN step. It's gonna just look at all of these ASINs and anything that maybe one of them or two of them, are, our threshold right now is three, so it's gonna look at anything less than three for the score. And anything that's ranking, in this case, in position 10 or better, it's gonna go ahead and move to our target list, which if all of these are relevant to our product, we would wanna know if one of them's ranking really high uh, for a keyword and, and the others aren't, just because it could be potentially a hidden gem that uh, more times out of not, it's probably a branded keyword, but you don't really know until you take a look at it. So this is just a really quick way to do that. The other option is you could just look at the alphas that are doing really, really well. There's four or five of them here and just select those, but um, you're gonna go ahead and come up now and just click add alpha ASIN and that's gonna move 
any of the ones, again, that meet our criteria of uh, one or two, in this case, for the score, and that it's going to be in position 10 or better. So I'm going to hit yes. All right, I'm going to hit OK. What I can do now, if I go over to the keyword list, you'll see that it brought in the ASINs for anything that met the alpha ASIN criteria. So if I scroll down here, there's one there. There's quite a few here, it looks like. So what you can do now, it's pretty nice that the we've got it set to organic rank shown right here for all 10 ASINs. You can see here you had two, there's one there, and there's one there ranking for this. Looks like a branded keyword. This one's discount golf bags. It looks like there's one that's ranking seven. So you get the idea there. Um, so the next step that we're going to want to take is actually pushing manual keywords. You could, if you had imported the Zon Guru, do the exact same two-phase thing that we just did with the Zon Guru, and it would uh, migrate those words. But I think nine times out of ten, users are just going to have one or the other. So that's kind of the example that I'm going to do. Uh, but for the manual keywords, that's where all of our other keyword sources kind of come into play. So what we're going to want to do now is go back to our source tab. And there's a handy little button on each of these, uh, or a checkbox rather, that if you check that, it's going to populate and show in green anything that's already on our list. And then what you have up here are filters for each of the keyword sources. So let's say, for example, I want to do the Cerebro filter around this table. I just click that button there. You can see it puts a filter around here. And what's nice if you have this box checked is you can actually sort by color now and we're going to do fill color i want to see everything that's white up at the top so i'm going to click white all right now what you can do is you can buzz down through this list you could all you could also have done a search volume sort uh, i'm trying to think if it'll work how would i do that you could unfilter or i'm sorry you could you could filter out by color is what you could do and then sort by search volume. That's probably a pretty good way to do it. So um, I'm gonna filter, I think if I click filter white, it's gonna show me just the white. And now if I sort Z to A here, uh, yeah, that gave me what I want. Now the score, if there's zero, that means that nobody's kind of meeting the criteria. So I'm gonna filter out the zeros. And then what's left, I've got by search volume and words that have not been pushed over to the target list yet. So you can go down through here and see if any of them are highly relevant to your product. If they are, go ahead and just check the box. You can always drag this down as well if you wanna check multiple. And then that's kind of the idea. We're gonna do that now with all of these keyword sources. So, all right, and then when you come to the brand analytics table, you can just come up and select that filter and then it will clear the other filter we had on and just apply it to this one. You just wanna always be careful because sometimes the data gets hidden and you get a little confused if you're not careful. And then you can scroll up then and do a similar thing if you want. So I'm just gonna click that. It'll show me the words that are already on there. And anything in white means it hasn't been added yet. So I'm gonna just go through and pick a couple of these manually. That's kind of the idea there. There's probably some more I could have grabbed. Opportunity Explorer. All those look good. All right, you usually find quite a few with this. I don't know why the keyword tools don't grab the search bar, but they tend not to. So um, you can go through and pick the ones that are relevant. And then when you're done, just go ahead and come up and hit build target list, add manual keywords. And that's all you gotta do. And it's gonna aggregate all the keyword sources for the ones you've selected the check boxes on and just append it to our target keyword list and update all the formulas. All right, I need to add a prompt there, but it said finished. So now if we go over to our target list and I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom, I need to make this to where it automatically sorts. I haven't done that yet, but um, you can see there those get added and the information's off here to the right that you can see we don't have any, uh, oh, actually the formula just hadn't updated yet, so. Uh, the first section on here, I'm not going to go into too much detail yet on this, but the first section with kind of the listing content that's editable, um, so you can see all that's values, that's always going to be our product. So the very first 
ace in there and then the formulas here for the search volume and everything stay intact but everything else you can see has values when I click on it so that's just done to try to increase the performance across Google Sheets the more values you have the better so uh, anyway that is how we build our target keyword list it's just essentially moving the keywords from the source tab over to the listing wizard tab and the two columns that get moved are just the source column and the target keyword list the search volume can be changed here uh, depending on what precedent you want to set right now we're looking at the search query performance report first and if it's available it's showing that and if it's not it's going to the cerebro then is the zon guru assuming you're running both of those competitor keyword sources so the listing wizard is going to have its own video next so i'll go into a lot more detail on this page in that video i hope this was helpful thanks